Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and uh, me and Chris, he's behind the camera, but uh, we were just looking at Craigslist, we found this car, 1993 Honda Accord, for $175, and uh, it runs good, it says, and uh, let's see, yeah, and it has a major gas tank leak, so I'm not sure what that means, I'm not sure if it all just goes out or uh, anything like that, but, I don't know, we're going to figure it out, we're going to go look at it probably, so, uh, We'll figure all that stuff out and things, so sounds good. Alright. So here we go, we're about to look up uh, 1993. And uh, I actually don't even know what they look like. I mean, I kind of do, but not like. So let's see. Check some. Sp oh my god. You turn out the eyes. ISO. That's amazing. Look at that. 227 coupe, 1940. All right. Anyways, we're getting off track now. So uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna go look at it. Hopefully, if you know the guy, like I don't know. All right. I said, how bad is the gas leak in your report? He said, pretty bad. It can be driven to its destination, but that's about it. I plan on driving it to EJ Salvage. Otherwise, it's a really solid car. Okay. Wanna go look at it? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go check this out, hopefully today. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see what we're gonna do with it. Yep. That was good. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. We're uh, here in Chris's car. It's a little bit bright. All right, now it's too dark. Anyways, we're uh, about to go look at that uh, Accord, and the guy actually said he has a Civic, too. Uh, I'm not sure if he's looking for the same price, but we're gonna check both of them out. And I uh, hope you can still hear me, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go check them out. Am I going right or left? All right, guys. It was really hot in this car, but uh, here we are on our way. And uh, uh, there we go, right there. You cannot see that at all, all right? Anyways, we got a dress. <laughs> no. This guy's gonna get robbed. Got about 37 minutes left. So, uh, yeah, not too far, pretty nice of a ride, but, yeah, I guess, uh, see when we get there, maybe, or after we, uh, look at it or something, I don't know. Anyways, alright. Alright, oh. Pretty sure they say it a quarter mile. Alright, we're, uh, almost there, we're on the right road, we're starting to figure out where it is, we're not sure where it is. Alright guys, I'm not going to focus the camera or anything because I'm driving right now, but Adam literally just bought a car, that car, that, that same car, I don't know if this is looking at me, there it is, actually, I can just do this, uh, can I, yeah, there we go, alright, Adam just bought that car. I don't think he even knows. Yeah, so I'm following him right now. And the guy was really nice. Like, he was really nice. He threw in, like, tires and everything. And and it's this is, this is a Honda Civic, and it looks really nice. We're going to go meet up. We're going to stop by a lake or something to meet up, and we'll talk about everything. But that was an, I feel like that was an amazing deal, and I almost feel bad because I felt like he was giving us way more than we, that he needed. Yeah, we'll start recording when, when he gets there, but, wow. All right guys, here I am in the new Honda Civic, 1999 Honda Civic. There's Chris in his, in his car, we're, uh, you know, driving stuff. Anyways, we're gonna head to a gas station. This thing's, well, we're on a hill, but it's pretty low on gas, so we're gonna put some gas in it. There's Chris recording. Um, anyways, yeah, so I picked up for $100, and it has the aftermarket exhaust with a big muffler on it. it has a uh, nice, you know, nice uh, stereo. Basically, I mean, it's an automatic, which it kind of sucks, but the e-brake even works. Uh, that door, I don't know. Anyways, I'll, I'll tell you more about it when we get back, but uh, 100 bucks, it's I'd say it's pretty good. So anyways, let's get going. All right, guys. 
we're at, we're stopped right now and we're doing the thing. Uh, hopefully, he'll be almost ready to go. And uh, I, it looks like he is because he's putting it in neutral. So let's go home. Actually, we're going to a gas station right now. So let's go to the gas station. A little roundabout here. I wish it was rear wheel drive Civic, but you know, I wish there was such thing as that. The exhaust is pretty loud. I like it. It has nice winter tires, and we got like four extra tires with it, which is good. It's pretty loud, but <laughs> I don't care. It's pretty nice. Honestly, like, it's it's better than a $100 car. It's a, a few hundred dollar car, because it runs perfect. It has 251,000 miles. So, you know, that's a lot, but it's a Honda, you know, of course. It's the first Honda I've ever owned, actually. So, well, the first Honda car. And where's Chris? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Anyways, yeah, I haven't even checked if the lights work or anything, but the AC and the heat works, which is probably the best thing. <laughs> the AC works. Um, anyways, I'm, yeah, we gotta check all the lights and stuff. It has manual windows, which saves a few pounds. That thing is, that door doesn't open, the window doesn't roll down, but that's fine. Honestly, uh, it's pretty nice, but I'm gonna update you guys more about it, like, once I actually get home and stuff. So, yeah, anyways, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Still driving. Uh, copyright. Alright. God. So, we're going to the gas station right now. And, uh, probably the ISO is all messed up. But I don't care. Actually, it looks kind of cool from around. It's like all blurry. But, uh, not the good kind of blurry either. So, we're going to, I think, the marathon right now. Oh, we just passed the guy's house again. I wonder if that guy's, like, crying because he just gave us... I feel like too much. I, I don't know why he thinks. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know anything about cars, so I probably shouldn't even be talking right now. Adam's the one that knows everything about cars. I just sit here and try to make it more entertainable. I'm not saying Adam doesn't do it any justice by making it entertainable because he's hilarious. But, uh, yeah. This is a, this has been a pretty good day. This all started off because I was joking with Adam, and I was like, uh, well, let's go buy a car today. And he was like, let's just buy a $100 car. And I'm like, let's do it, let's do it. And then we look on Craigslist. This is, uh, it's at $175 for a Honda Accord. And then he's like, oh, but we have a Honda Civic here, too for the same price. Both things have something wrong with the fuel. And, uh, so, we, uh, we're like, hey, let's do it. Let's, let's see if we can buy this car. And I said, I, I said I was gonna help buy it. And, uh, and he said, oh, yeah. And so he got money from the bank. He put $60 to it. I think I put $40 to it. And we got it for $100. And it came with a whole bunch of, uh, like uh, tires, like four tires, two st not street, like regular tires and then regular and then uh, snow tires. So it's pretty great. It was it's been a good day so far. I wonder what he's talking about up there. Shout out to uh, Honda Civics. I'll uh, see you guys when we get to uh, 
marathon or whatever it is. We're at the gas station. I really hope it's on the left. I didn't even look if the thing is on the left or not to fill it up, but uh, we're about to figure out. Anyways, yeah, let's go get some gas in here. Is it loud? What? Is it loud? No, I guess. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Premium or on or regular? Really? It's expensive. No, why do you I'm putting premium. How much should I put in it like? She said seven. Seven dollars, yeah. Were you vlogging? A little bit. I don't vlog You're not you if you're hungry. I just like going on about like stuff, random stuff. Try Snickers ice cream for some chill Snickers satisfaction. I'll put eight dollars in since premium is more expensive. I only have to put five bucks in. Chris. halfway home now we stopped at mcdonald's and got some gas at a gas station and stuff like that um yeah apparently it leaks it starts leaking gas after you filled up more than a half tank so i i put like a quarter i don't know a little less than a half tank in um yeah besides that almost home is running it's running fine actually surprisingly hundred dollar car nice well uh, the head unit's nice but the speakers are pretty bad but I don't really care. It's uh, you know, it's pretty nice. It doesn't have cruise control, which sucks, cause cruise control is like my favorite thing. But you know, that's all right. It's hundred dollar car. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely worth hundred dollars. So yeah. Anyways, I'll uh, do a full overview of it and all that stuff. You know, look over it when I get home, and I'll show you guys. So it'll be another twenty minutes probably. Uh, anyways, yeah. I guess I'll just I'll see you guys then. Okay. Safety first. <laughs> it's hard to get in and out of park. Am I good? I don't know. Yeah, you're good. Look at that sexy thing. All right, guys. So, uh, about to go have some fun in the field. <laughs> I ripped the E in it. No, we're good. Oh god, the dust. Oh, come on. I missed the BMW. BMW never got stuck. <laughs> oh my. Pixel's back all the way down. Great. Chris, what did you do today? Bought another car with them. Oh. So Adam, if you sell this thing, how much are you gonna am I gonna get? Hero. Alright guys, we're back and we're out here on some trails. 
Uh, chair a little bit warm, so we're gonna let it cool off a little bit, just uh, so we don't overheat it and blow it up in the first day. Anyways, so what we got here is a 1999 Honda Civic. Uh, not sure, like the model, doesn't say it. DX, LX, MX, CX, FX, doesn't say that, so just Honda Civic. Here we got this fart can. Uh, it passes the fisting test, all right. Uh, nice exhaust, you got a bunch of exhaust leaks all over, so it's pretty nice. Um, come around right here, we got that uh, little lamb right there. And we got a Hayes Properties resident parking. And uh, paint, pretty good, you know, a few scratches, we got some rust. But it actually has a, let's see, Hankook Winter I-Pike RS tires, and they're pretty good tires all around, brand new. Um, right here, windows, manual window, or man, yeah, what? Manual roll-up windows, which saves some weight, that's good. Got some, you know, seats and mirrors. Um, uh, come up here, you can see there's a little, uh, front-end collision or something went on here. Uh, a little dented in there. Headlights are fine, just the bumper, you know, isn't that fine, but that's alright. Come around here, you can see, someone tried pulling this fender out, that didn't work, you know. Wide body, but YOLO. Uh, and there's some nice wipers here. This window right here doesn't roll up or down, or is stuck up, it doesn't roll down. And the door thing is messed up, so you gotta get, or I got the handling glove box, gotta pull that right now. Anyways, so this window doesn't work. Uh, then all the other windows work, all the other doors open. A little bit of rust right there. Uh, open up the trunk real quick. As you can see right here, we have three extra tires and actually four extra tires, the ones up in uh, up by the house. So we got two two of these, uh, let's see, what are they, Winter Force? What brand are these? I don't know, they're Winter Force uh, Winter Tires, 185, 17, 14. Two of those, and then we got two of these All Seasons, the Cooper, CS4 Touring. I don't know if they're all seasons or if the summer tires or not, but I don't know. Anyways, you got two of those and two of those, and then they all four brand new snow tires are on it right now. Some extra oil, because it burns some oil, they said. Oh, and we also have a spare underneath. Not a full size spare, it's just a little, one of the little ones under this carpet. And then, uh, besides that, we'll open up the hood real quick. Uh, Alright. Pretty sure it, uh, it's actually already unlatched, you just use that safety thing, which, you know, pretty safe stuff right there. There we go. Alright, um, basically it doesn't have a hood thing. It has one, like, a piece of wood in the back, but I pulled it up. Um, right here we got the, uh, I have no idea, D15 or D16. I think it might be the D16 motor. And, uh, now that I look at it, this fuel rail almost looks aftermarket. But... I have no idea. Never owned a Honda car before. I owned a Honda dirt bike, but not a car. Anyways, I mean, you know, it's pretty rusty, but, you know, not horrible. Uh, yep, so basically there's the engine bed. Pretty stock, pretty normal, pretty Honda y. Um, you guys know, tell me if that uh, fuel rail is aftermarket. It kind of looks like an IPT, but we'll see. Anyways, all right, close this up here. One of the best parts about it, the air conditioning works. Pretty surprising, but it runs cold. Got some heat too, and uh, as you can see right there, we're living the automatic life, which you know it sucks, but that's all right. I uh, got some Fritos over there, and the e-brake, the emergency brake, actually works pretty well. Actually, it'll lock them up, so that's good. Um, besides that, a hundred bucks. That's how much this thing costs. It runs fine. I think it's a pretty good deal. So, uh, the more cars come on, let's hop in, and uh, we'll give it a little rip down the road. All right. All right, you ready? Gears, it'll lock it in like second gear, third gear, something like that. Oh, it rips me 
like that. Yeah, very far out, dude. It's almost. Or this? Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven cars, eight if you got the truck. <laughs> One last little uh, drift. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. We just destroyed the yard, but that's all right. It was, no, we didn't actually. Maybe we did. All right. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching this little journey we went through today. It's kind of spontaneous, but I think it was worth it. So, yes, hundred bucks for this car that we're gonna. Ooh. I'm not sure we're gonna do with it yet, but we'll figure it out. Tell me if you guys liked it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys with some more videos of all of my cars now. So, uh, all right, see you later.